Dos pasadas es igual. Thank you.
Ring 9, class 56, large agility, 1 to 2, there are no dogs on the line. Ring 9, class 56, large agility, 1 to 2, there are no dogs on the line. regarding the quiz tonight in the pavilion at 20 hundred hours. There are teams of six, it's two pounds per person, and it's being held in the pavilion main building. We are very grateful to all the trade fans who have donated prizes. Finer by nature, towards trading, performance facility, Total Cool, Bexford Rum, Skinners, Be Cozy, Natsala MSK Clinic, Aquamat Watermaster, Natural Soup Shop. All sports for dogs, Fur Baby Casting, Touch and Go, Dizzy Dog, Benicia Health Products, Smart Set. Trust me, there are some super, super prizes here, worth an entry.
green five, plus one large green to grey five, closing in five minutes. Green five, plus 61 large opening grey five, closing in five minutes.
our judge is just checking the course. And then we'll be going straight on with the medium. Uh, the order of running will be medium, intermediate, small and large. And there's about 15 to 18 dogs in each section. Okay, so we're ready to go. First of all, let's welcome our judge, Petra Viplalova from the Czech Republic. So we've got uh, the agility run and the jumping run. We're going to put the two together. And... Uh, We'll have a final here later this evening. So the two runs will be put together uh, and the top ten will go through to the final. And then the top dog in each section, that's an elimination there, will be uh, going to Crufts into the Crufts singles in March 2024. So, unfortunately, just picking up an elimination there is Irina Hoffmanova with Follow Me. Little shelty there. this is Barbora Banrova and Breeze. So we're still looking for our first clear round. So unfortunately that is an elimination there, just taking the wrong course. Okay, let's go. Joseph Bois and Loki. So into the tunnel, number three. Right turn onto the A-frame. Oh, just uh, stumbling a bit there, but uh, well recovered. So round the back side of the Skinner's Wall. We're always grateful to our sponsors, so thank you to Spinners for sponsoring the KC International Festival. And welcome if you're joining us on live stream. You are currently watching the International Agility Round. So over the spread, back through the Skinner's jump. Got to hit the ground, well done. And it's our first clear round, well done. Time of 44, five, sorry, 627 on the clock, well done. So this is Marina Huber and Faye.
Okay, here we come into the final straight, just picking up five falls on the seesaw. And, oh, time of 40.551. So, Pedro Serrano Gonzalez with Nutella, Gonzalez, sorry, with Nutella. Picks up five forts. Ooh, picking up five. Recovered it though, so we're on five. Forts just there for the weave poles. And obviously we had the five from before. Just picks up another five there. And unfortunately that take the jump, taking the jump the wrong way means an elimination. Okay, next to go, Carlos Passarino with Goma. Little Spaniel. And nicely round the back. So motoring down towards the tunnel on the far side. Back side of the Skinner's jump, pulling in into the weave poles. Just picks up five there, he's gonna go back and correct that. Nicely done. Oh, takes out the spread, unfortunately. Gets the seesaw, though, and over the final jump in a time of 43841. Okay, this is Jurgen Smith and Sonic. Shelty. Come on, door, 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 door. Um. Into the weave poles. Nicely through there. So our current winning time at the moment, forty four six two seven on the clock. Yeah, pushing round over the spread. Here we go into the final straight. Gets the seesaw. One to go. Well done. A nice run. 41501 on the clock by my reckoning. Goes into the lead. So next to go, Agnes Ksengo with Riza. Oh, she liked those weave poles. Just saw those, unfortunately, picking up an ele early elimination there. Okay, so this is Patricia Swords and Mia. Uh, looks like a miniature poodle. So 
So here we go, right across across the long jump to the do um, tunnel. And the back of Skinner's into those weave poles. Look at your beat, 41, 501. Oh no. Unfortunately, that is an elimination. So after the mediums, we'll be going on to the intermediates. So the jumps will go up. Well done. Well done. Okay, this is Irina Hoffman Nova with Helen of Troy of Darkness. So nicely down to the tunnel. Pushing back to those weave poles. Nicely done. Round the back, here we go. 41, 501 on the clock to beat. Getting the blind in there for that right turn onto the seesaw. You've got one to go. Let's have a fast finish. Well done. Well done. 49 7. Okay, this is Marina Huber and Moon. There's a quick little dog. Pushing left. Mm, didn't quite pick the wheeze up, so we're on five for a refusal. Thought it was going in the tunnel then. <laughs> oh, all right. It's getting in a bit of a, a bit of a pickle. Right turn. Here we go. Onto the seesaw. One to go. Well done. In a time of forty point two nine nine, I believe. Oh, it's 48. By the way, everybody, don't take my word for the times because we can't see them very well. So please do not think this is an official time announcement by any stretch of the imagination. You let me know when you can see it. Yeah, but it's just, you've got to get it at the right angle. But whether it'll be the same for you in there, I don't know. T tell me if it changes.
to walk the course, you have five minutes. Five minutes to walk the course at intermediate. Thank you. Uh, rearrange the clock so that we can uh, see it a bit better.
Okay, so we're getting ready to go on to the intermediate. Okay, for first to go in the intermediate is Ava Perez Prunel with fish. So obviously it's the same course, just a different height. Into the weave poles. Nicely done through there. Onto that dog walk. Getting the blind in there. Right turn onto the seesaw. Gets that one to go. Well done. It's a great first <coughs> run. A 43, 140 on the clock. Okay, next to go, Mark Pratt's Garcia and Mia. So round the back across the arena to the tunnel. Nicely done through there onto the dog walk. Oh, what a shame. She's got a five there, run by on the Skinner's Jump, so five faults. Well done, and a time of 44.635 on the clock, well done. Next to go, David Infanti Hoover Juve with Winter. So motoring into the tunnel, the backside there of the Skinner's Jump. Here we go, into the weave poles. Right turn. Picks up five just for the dropped pole, but nicely manoeuvred. Oh, went to uh, the scenic route there. And over the final jump, 41-1-4-6 on the clock. Well done. So next to go, Mark Matamor Matamoromos, Gasparin and Noy. 
or new, I'm not sure which one it is. And we're off. Oh, nearly. Just picked up those weave poles, but we uh, recovered well. Picks up, picks up five. So we're on five faults for an earlier refusal. Nicely through the weave poles onto that dog walk. On to the seesaw, one to go. Well done, a time of 44.677. Okay, next to go, Marguerite Moorling with Happy. Into the tunnel. Picks up five faults on the A-frame. And over the final jump, well done. 41919 on the clock. So next to go is Laura Murphy and Indy. Unfortunately, that's an elimination there just for picking up those weave poles and uh, subsequently taking the wrong course there. I think that might conclude our intermediate height. Any more intermediate handlers for the international agility? Okay, we have uh, another contender. Uh, this is Carla van Adrikem with Kyla von Thernhoff. Nicely done, right turn onto the A-frame. Picks up five on the A-frame and unfortunately that's uh, followed by an elimination. Okay, next to go is Danielle Scott and Iron Man.
So here we go, across to the tunnel. Oh, just missed out the long jump. So we're picking up uh, five faults as a refusal on the long jump over the Skinner's jump. Right, turn on to the seesaw. One to go. Well done. 42.136 on the clock. Any more international agility handlers in the intermediate height? So just checking whether there's any more handlers for the intermediate height. We believe there's one more. Okay, so Carla's just uh, caught her breath and she's going to run again. This is with Tess Vom Thernhoff. So, right turn. Nicely over the A-frame. Here we go, down the long line. Into that tunnel. Round the back of the Skinner's jump into the weaves. Oh, didn't quite make the weave entry. Picks up five. So we're on five. And unfortunately, that is an elimination for taking the tunnel rather than the dog walk. Medium jumping grade three. We're no dogs on the line. Can we get dogs to the line, please?
team the medium staff is up um, they're back from lunch and they're looking for medium dogs so ring 10 back from lunch that's the medium staff is up medium team strike one and two
Okay, we're just about ready to start uh, the next uh, section uh, height for the Special International Agility. So we've got the small dogs, and um, we're just welcoming our judge back into the ring, um, Petra Viplalova, and uh, she is ready to start. And first on the line is Michelle uh, with Dutch replay. Safely through the tunnel. Heading towards the A-frame. Right across the arena now. Coming up to the first Skinner's jump. Nicely negotiated into the weave. Oh, that's sadly elimination there. Missed the entry onto the dog walk. Nice to give them a big cheer for our international handlers here. Just about to finish over the seesaw. One for home. Good effort. Just unlucky for Michelle and Dutch replay. Next on the line is Kelly Hogslag, and that is she's running ace. Good luck, Kelly and ace. Down the tunnel entry, heading up over the A-frame now. That looks good. Across the long way across the top of the arena, up to the Skinner's jump. Nice. Oh, just missed the weave entry. Making sure she got over to the dog walk. Nearly had an accident with the tunnel underneath the dog walk. Does get in the way. Nice finish. Seesaw to finish. Final jump. Well done. And that was done in a time of 41.810. Next on the line, we have Bronya Walsh and Zeus. And I think Bronya's from Southern Ireland. Nice Irish name. Heading lovely over the long jump, the tunnel. All right, this is the bit that's causing a bit of trouble. Over the Skinner's jump and into the weave entry. Nicely handled. Made connection with the dog. Keeping that connection. Up over the dog walk. Nice pedal wrap after the dog walk. Put her in a good position for this finishing sequence. Over the spread, back over the Skinner's jump, two to go. Well done, I think that's our first clear round. Well done, Bronya and Zeus in a time of 43.769. So next on the line, I think it's one of our Spanish handlers and it's Sam Sanchez and Taxi. Good luck, Sam. Really working every inch of this course. Over the A-frame. Five on the A-frame. Over the long jump. Up to the Skinner's fence, followed by the weave. Got that connection. Onto the dog walk nicely. Flick over. Up over the spread. Skinners, seesaw, and then the last jump to go. Well done, and that was in a time of 42.20, 40.20. Okay, so the next handler on the line is Maria Melacari with Wiki. Good luck, Maria. Up over the A-frame. Looking good so far. Long jump, tunnel, round the Skinners. Oh. oh dear, just tried to handle that weave entry from the other side. Just got in the way of the dog. 
Just five. Oh dear, and that's an elimination. Just missed the uh, entry onto the dog walk. Over the spread, final closing sequence. Dog is enjoying itself in this nice big arena in the sunshine. It's having a ball and safely over the finish fence. Well done, Maria and Wick.
one there. Beautiful dog. Nicely over the tunnel. He's having fun. Having a bit of an argument at the Skinner's Jump. He doesn't want to do what he's being told to do. Now he's safely in the leaves. So he's eliminated, but he's continuing to work the dog. Taking his time in this arena. Dog's enjoying all the lovely space. Seesaw to go on the finish fence. And well done for giving it a good go. Right, next on the line is Sergio Sousa and Coley Moley, but we're just having a little sort of the tunnel. Um, that's just being fixed. Let our judge get back into place. So Sergio, just take your time. And we're ready to go. This looks like a lovely board of collie. Please go to the secretary's cabin. This is an announcement for Harry Elwood. Please go to the secretary's cabin. Nicely handled there. Nice wrap line number two into the tunnel. Now over the A-frame. Sending him lovely to the tunnel. Round the Skinner's jump. Into the weave. Getting across the dog walk to call the dog. Beautiful. Lovely in ahead. Nice big long legs. Sergio's can get there. Oh dear. He had a one pull. The seesaw and over the finish fence. Well done. And I think that was just 10 faults in a time of 33.409. So next on the line is Danielle Scott, and she is running Moon. And it says she's from USA. Not sure if she is, but if she is, welcome USA. Nice wrap now, number two. Safely into the tunnel. Fed on four. Up over the A-frame. Here we go, across the main arena. Here we come, tricky part, Skinner's jump, get the connection into the weave, lovely. Calling the dog, safely onto the dog walk. Oh. We managed that, got the round the back after the dog walk, bit of handling to do there, over, over the spread, two from home, just the seesaw and one jump to go. Well done, and that was at a time of 41. Point nine five one, clear. Well done, Danielle. Next in the ring, we have Andrea Duarts and Tobias. So Andrea and Tobias, good luck. Lovely big dog, this. Nice big lad. Black lad. Over the A-frame, now heading across to the long jump, tunnel, and the Skinners into the weave. Nice connection. Safely in the weave. Leaving him in the weave, calling him to the dog walk. And Tobias is listening. Round the back of the fence. Now the run for home. Keep that connection. Nice over the spread. Threadle into the Skinner's fence. Just one pole there. And then safely over the finish. And that's him. Okay, so we have a timing issue there. It was 44.60 from the backup timing and five falls. Next dog on the line is Tracy Duncan with Rush. Up over the A-frame. Five faults on the A-frame. Just missed the fence there as well. So we're on 10 at the moment. We need to keep working. Lovely connection into the weave. Targeted the dog walk nicely. Just not sure about jumping that fence with the pole down. 
Keeping the connection nicely over the spread. Nice threadle into the Skinners. Just got the seesaw to go and the final fence. And safely round. So that was 15 faults in a time of 41.222. Next on the line we have Tanya and Conrad and uh, Tanya Conrad with Van. So Tanya and Van putting their best efforts on this course. Here we go. On the first four, over the A-frame. Nicely done. Conrad's listening into the tunnel. Oh, well done. Around the back of the Skinner's fence, lovely. Got the weaves. Only on to the dog walk. Getting nicely ahead, threadle at the end, a different way of handling. It's worked really well. Dog is really listening to her now. Two obstacles to go over the seesaw, over the finish fence, and that's a clear round. Well done, that was super. So, Van, 36.864. Clear round in 36.864. Next on the line we have Miriam with Kenya or Kenji. Depends whether you pronounce the Jai or not. So, safely into the tunnel. Just drop the pole there on number four. Over the long jump, sending out to the tunnel, making that connection for that Skinner's fence. Dogs are always hesitating because of those big wings, but it's not faulted. Dog hasn't stopped. It's nicely over the dog walk, nice treadle at the end. Oh, just pulled off that fence. So we've got a 5R. Coming up to the spread, she gets the treadle in front of the Skinner's fence. Thank you. Over the seesaw and safely over the finish. So that was just 10 faults, five and a refusal, and a time of 42.959, well done. Next is Rachel Stevens, um, and she's running DJ. She's running for Spain, but Rachel's from the northwest of England originally, so we're allowed to cheer for Rachel. Wait on the line. Safely in the tunnel. Rachel's now sending the dog up over the A-frame, around the back of the fence. Sending out over the long jump in that tunnel. Around the back of the Skinner's fence. Oh, slight hesitation there. Picked up a 5R, just didn't quite see the face of the fence. But safely through the weeds. Made that connection for the dog walk. Around the back of the fence. Lots of nice distance handling. Just knock that pole there. Over the spread. Oh, knock the back of the spread. Just got the seesaw and one fence to go. Well done, Rachel. Really good effort there. So that was 15 faults and a time of 38.927. Well done, Rachel. Next on the line, also from Spain, is Victor. And he is running jazz. So Victor Oleas Flores. Coming up to the A-frame now, safely negotiated the first four obstacles. And we're running across that ring. Victor's getting nice and ahead of him. Making sure he's there, ready to help him round that Skinner's fence. Might never have seen a jump with those kind of wings before. Lovely through the weaves. On to the dog walk. Got that connection. Nicely down the dog walk. Here we go. Over the spread. Three obstacles to go. Nicely over the Skinners. Just got the seesaw and the finish jump. Fantastic. Well done. And that was a clear round for Victor and Jazz. Well done, Jazz. And a time of 44.477.
Next on the line is Tanya and Twilight. Good luck, Tanya. Ring four, class 15, small. Agility gate six, class is now closed. Ring four, class 15, small. Agility gate six, class is now closed. Heading towards the A-frame now. Safely negotiated the first few obstacles, running across the ring. Send the dog over that long jump into the tunnel. Getting round that skinner's fence, get that connection, lovely. Leaving the dog to do the weave himself. Calling over the dog walk, nicely done. Just keep these connections for the last few obstacles. Over the spread, three left to go, over the skinner's. Oh dear, dog just refused. I wasn't too sure about that. I saw the seesaw rather than the Skinner's fence. Over the seesaw safely and over the finish fence. Well done, Tanya. And that was in a time of 46.809. Um, 10 faults in 46.809. So next on the line is Sergio Souza again, I think. And Cat. He's not a cat, he is a dog, but he's called Cat. Or it might be a sheep. Can't really tell from here. Safely through the tunnel under the dog walk, up over the A-frame. Sergio giving very clear arm instructions here, making sure the dog listens to what he's saying, follows his body, keeping him in there. Nice, quiet handling. Nicely done down the dog walk. Now coming up, keeping it together, keeping the connection over the spread. Just got the skinners. That's safely done. Seesaw and final fence. Well done, and that was another lovely clear round. Well done, Cat. And that was in a time of 37.779. Next on the line is Susanna Klaus, and that looks like Sue. Safely through number three, the tunnel. Handler's working hard here, keeping the connection, keeping her eye on the dog on this tricky course. Sending, oh, lovely send on to the tunnel. Getting around the Skinner's fence. Into the weave, beautifully. Call out, connection on the dog walk. Just got a bit of control with a stop dog walk there, allowing the handler to get into a good position for this finish line. Over the spread, Skinner's fence, dog took that no problem. And on to the seesaw. Lovely stop over the finish fence, and that was clear in a time of 42.168. Next on the line is Margaret, Marguerite Moorling and Sir Hoy. I wonder if he's named after a certain cyclist. It's all right, don't mind Marguerite naming her dog Three after a very famous Scots person. Safely through the tunnel. Get that round the Skinner's fence. Nice connection to the weave. So far, so good. Hoy hoy, I like that. Ahoy, hoy. <laughs> and we're doing really well here. Just got two obstacles to go. Over the finish, well done, and a lovely clear, clear round for Sir Hoy. I do like Sir Hoy, 39.241, no favoritism, but, oh, wait a minute. There was a fault on the A-frame, I think. I think there was a fault on the A-frame.
Sorry about that. Uh, there was a little bit of miscommunication. That was actually five faults on the A-frame. Uh, judge was uh, very clear that she'd signalled it, but sorry, we missed it here. Um, so do apologise. So how? So how? Got five faults. So next on the line. Uh, if we could, can you just wait a minute? Can you just stop that dog? Stop! Stop! Thank you, handler. We haven't got you. Can you just hold on a minute, and we'll let you know when we're ready to start. We just can't get you coming up on the device. So do apologise. Uh, sorry about that. We're just needing to correct the um, score for the last dog uh, that ran, Sir Hoy, uh, who got five faults. Um, fortunately, we thought he had gone clear, but we um, uh, we just didn't quite see the hand signal from the judge. But she was very clear it was five faults. Um, so we've amended that now, and we're now ready to go. And now we have Shelby Tilden and Moss. So good luck, Shelby and Moss. Okay, over number four. Now down over the A-frame. Coming across the top of the arena. Sending over the long jump through the tunnel nicely. All around the Skinner's fence. Got that connection into the weave. We love a nice try that has a, a good voice. Lovely over the dog walk. All right. Handler trying to get in position. Nice threadle over the spread. She's now getting ahead of the dog. Another threadle over the Skinner's fence. Seesaw. Safely done. Over the finish fence. And that is a clear round. And that is in a time of 37.875. Sorry. The sun is shining on the clock. So next on the line is Brenda Kelly. And she is running a lovely border collie called James. James is very keen to get going. Very fast. Nicely over the A-frame. Sent out to the tunnel. Round the Skinner's fence. Into the weave. Completed that. Got the connection for the dog walk. Sending around the back. Now down through the finishing sequence. Over the spread. Skinner's fence. Nicely done. Seesaw to go. Over the final fence. Well done. And that looks like it's a clear round in 37.018. Next on the line is Janet Milner, and she is running Goya, I think that's pronounced. I do apologize if I've pronounced it wrongly. Joya, thank you. I'm glad I've got a teammate here to keep me right. Joya. Let's see if Joya can bring some joy. Janet will be very joyful. Looking good so far. Sp long jump, tunnel, Skinners. Safely negotiated that. Into the weave. Right. Very clear instruction of where she wanted it to go. Down nicely over the dog walk. Keep this connection. Over the spread. Thinking about that. Seesaw. Finish fence to go. Well done. And that was a...
clear round in 42.236 for Janet Joya. Next we have Desiree, Snellerman and Peak. This is the last dog to run for the larges um, in our section uh, and the last in the agility. Part of this competition will be moving to the jumping next. Nicely over the A-frame. Lo long jump, tunnel. Got that Skinner's fence. Very excited. Got that weed. Handler having to work really hard to curb the enthusiasm and keep the dog on track. Just went, took a long way around the fence, but so far so good. Up over the spread, over the Skinner's, lovely. Nice seesaw. Finished jump, well done, and another clear round. And that was clear in the time of 38.3, I think it's 388. It looks like 388 here from the screen. Okay, we'll be having a small, um, well, we're not having a siesta. We'd like to have a siesta, but we're having a small break. Um, and we will be moving on to the special international jumping. And my colleague will take over from me uh, commentating for the first two classes, and then I'll be back with you. So we're just going to remove all the agility equipment, have a bit of a break, get the jumping course up. and allow the, uh, We're starting off with the medium dogs first then the small, then the large, and then the intermediate. Um, so that's the special international jumping. Um, that will then be followed by the combined results for the final. Um, and what's at stake is the winners will get offered a place to come to Crufts 2024 and uh, run at the international event there. So obviously there's a lot of stake at the handlers, so go and grab yourself a coffee, a pancake, a donut, do a bit of shopping and then come back and support these guys who've come all the way to Rutland County, County Showground, the Kennel Club International Agility Festival. That's what it's all about. Join you later.
international event. We were starting on medium, as you can see, followed by small, then intermediate, and then large. And again, this is available on the live stream. And um, good luck to all the competitors. Thank you.
Okay, and we're ready to start the special international jumping round. And we're on with the mean medium dogs. And the first dog in the ring is Marina um, with her dog called Faye. Just had a run past jump four. Into the weave. Safely negotiated through the weave. Over the Skinner's jump. Round the back of the fence, over the tunnel. Five faults are pulled down there. Over the spread. Heading towards the long jump now. Round the back of the fence, into the tunnel. Getting towards the home straight. Nicely done. Well done. Okay, that's 15 faults in a time of 51.627. Next in the ring is Jürgen. Jürgen Smith with Sonic. Good luck, Jürgen and Sonic. Off we go. One, two, three, safely accomplished. Nice thread will turn into the tunnel, turn back into the weaves. Tricky weave entry there, just overshot it into second pole. So picking up some faults on the weaves. Thread all over the Skinner's jump. Around the top of the arena, into the tunnel now. Up over the spread, nicely done. Call off the tunnel over the long jump. Back into the tunnel now for the home straight. Two obstacles to go. Well done, we've completed that in a time of 52.526. And that is next in the ring is Pedro with Nutella. Oh. Over number five, in through the tunnel. Trying this weave entry now. Safely accomplished the weave entry. Oh dear, just didn't get that pull in to take the Skinner's jump. So that's an elimination. But he's gonna keep the dog going. His chance to work in the main arena. Oh, dog just decided that I'll ignore you, dad, and I'll go in the tunnel. Prefer that to the long jump. Nice journey all the way from Spain. Great opportunity to compete here in the main arena at the Rutland County Showgrounds. Well done, good effort. So next in the ring is Irina with Helen of Troy of Darkness. Good luck, Irina. Right, through the tunnel. Let's see how we get on with this weave entry. Great. Picked the weave nicely. And get this, oh, no, nope. <laughs> Good effort, but um, we, we had an elimination there. We didn't get that pull in after the uh, weaves on the Skinner's jump. So, beautiful looking dog, lovely tail. It's having fun. It doesn't know it's gone wrong. I'm going to take an extra tunnel as well, Mum. So we're just going to make our way to the finish. Good effort. Well done. So next on the line should be Carlos and Goma. <laughs> Looks like Carlos is from Portugal. 
Okay, nice and speedy. Over the first five fences, into the tunnel. Let's see if we can pick up the weave. Nicely done. Now the tricky threadle. Well done, nicely over the Skinner's fence. Over the back line, oh. Had a bit of a problem there, an elimination. Quite easy in this heat to forget where the course goes. Never mind. Keep going. Dog thinks he's done right. Nicely over the spread. Lovely handling here. Really good effort. Well done. And next on the line is Joseph and Loki. Good luck, Joseph and Loki. Well done, safely over the first five obstacles. Shelty power going here. Nicely correct in the weaves. Oh, no, just couldn't take. Oh, commentator's curse, honestly. Made the weave entry and then uh, decided that the rest of it was a bit too hard. Skinner's fence still causing a little bit of an issue and then trying to get the control to get through the tunnel. Um, avoid the tunnel is an elimination. When it starts to go wrong, sometimes it just all goes wrong. It's now very hot down here at Rutland County Showdown. Right, if you're watching us online, it's pretty hot for the handlers and the dogs. Getting rather toasty. Safely over the um, finish line. So next on the line, we have Ag Agnes or Agnes however you pronounce it, with Riza. Okay. Go, go. Go, go. In, in. Nice Spaniel in the go, ring here. Go, go. Got through the first four obstacles, into the tunnel. Let's see if we can pick up the weave entry. Nope, missed that one. So, I refusal. Nice thread over the Skinners. Nice call off the tunnel. Sending through the tunnel. Just on a five refusal at the moment. Nice thread up to the long jump. Okay, just down for the closing sequence. Tunnel, send out, two obstacles to go. Well done, and that was done in a time of 43.509. Just five falls there. Next dog in the ring is Marina and Moon. <laughs> Safely over the first five obstacles. I think this is a collar. Missing the weave entry. Five are there. Safely completed the weave now. Nice threadle. Pulled off the tunnel. Round the back. Send to the tunnel. Nicely over the spread. Oh dear. Just didn't get that jump before the long jump. We have an elimination. Decided the tunnel was much more fun instead. safely over the finish fence so another elimination next in the ring is Patricia and Mia so good luck Patricia so Mia just getting herself set up Giving all sorts of prizes, including cooling towels, bags of treats, cuddle blankets, and we're off. 
for four into five. Wing wrap into the tunnel, sending out to the weaves. Nicely picked up the weave entry. But we didn't get the pull in to the Skinner's fence, so that is an elimination. But she's going to make a really good effort, use her time in the ring wisely, have a good go around the course. So well done, Patricia and Mia, for making it all this way to the uh, Kennel Club International Festival and the international event. And safely down over the finish fence. Okay, and I think that's our dogs now. Oh, we've got one more. Sorry, we've got one more. Should be checking in. Just waiting for the last competitor. So at the moment, we have leading uh, Agnes and Riza on five faults, and Jorgen and Sonic in second place on ten faults, and Marina and Faye third place on 15 faults. So we're just waiting for the last dog to come in and complete the medium, and then we'll be moving on to the small. So while we're waiting for our competitor, just to remind you that Skinner's is our main key line sponsor here for the Kennel Club International Festival. Um, the stand is to the left of the main ring. Um, they have a range of dog foods and treats. Um, they have some very uh, good energizing bars, field and trial energy bar to help boost with delicious ingredients. Okay, we are waiting for um, Irina Hoffmanova and Follow Me Old Odd. Uh, yeah, so Irina Hoffmanova, could you come to the main ring? You've uh, not run. We're waiting for you to come and do your run, please. If anybody knows Arena, can you give her a shout out? Okay, for those joining us online, we're just going to give um, Arena uh, one minute to get to the ring, uh, just to check whether she's still running or not. Um, and then we will change the jump heights if she's not. Just while we're waiting for Arena, um, we just hope you're having a fantastic day at the International Agility Festival. Um, please do f um, visit the Skinner stand. Um, they've got lots of uh, specially formulated dog food for high levels of activi activity, such as agility, as we're seeing here, but also for flyball dogs, gun dogs. Um, so please go and speak to the team. Um, you can also buy Skinners online if you go to www.skinners.co.uk and you can discover the field and trial and the get out and go diets online. So have a visit to uh, the online site and you can save 10% um, in every order if you do subscribe and save when it's delivered directly to your door. So go and talk to the team about it, have a look at the samples that they've got there in the stand, they're ever so helpful. Okay, for those of us joining us online, live online, we are now closing the class, so the results stand as I read out before, um, and we are now going to change the jump height um, to uh, small. Uh, 
uh, Smalls, you've got a, a few minutes to walk it quickly. If you want to come into the arena while we're just putting the jumps down, you want another quick uh, walk around it. Small handlers, if you can hear me outside the ring. Handlers of small dogs, you can walk it again quickly. Andrew? I didn't see you down there. <laughs> Andrew, she's ready to start. Okay, we're ready to start the special international jumping, the small dogs. And the first dog in the ring is Mary Schaff with Kiwi. Uh, sorry about that, Mary has uh, not uh, checked in properly, so we've removed her, and it's now Michelle and Dutch replay. So Michelle uh, tapping the voice. 
is on the line. Tafin Dubois. Nicely over number three, up to four. Wing wrap into the tunnel. Asking for the weave entry. A rear cross, lovely. Making sure that we get the thread on. Avoided the tunnel trap. Into the tunnel, up to the spread. Good call off that tunnel. Over the long jump, nicely. Coming up to the closing sequence. Tunnel, round the back, two to go. Well done, and that's our first clear round on this course. And it's 37.998. So next on the line is Bronya with Zeus. Bronya Walsh and Zeus from Southern Ireland. Safely over the first five fences. Tunnel weave. Let's see how we get on with this one. Nope. Zeus didn't pick up the weave. Didn't see it. Five refusal. Managed to thread around the Skinner's fence. So we're still just on 5R. In the tunnel. Coming up towards the spread now. Another threadle and see if we can avoid the next tunnel trap. Another 5R here. Over the long jump. Coming towards the closing sequence. Three fences to go. Safely over the finish fence. Um, and that was in a time of 47, 7, 4, 6. 3, 4, 6, sorry. Sorry. Just the way the sun is on the screen, can't quite see it as well. Right, next one is Bianca, Janssen and OJ. Through the tunnel. Well done, OJ. He's picked up that weave entry. Nicely done over the Skinner's fence. Round the back, send to the tunnel. Come on, OJ. Over the spread. OJ. Yeah, he made this long jump. Now the closing sequence. Tunnel. Three obstacles to go, three fences to go. Here we go. Over the finish fence. Well done, OJ. We got a clear round. We got there. And that's in a time of 43.772. Next is Nurse and Patum de Blue de Roque de la Bevera. That's a long one. It sounds like a really nice bottle of red wine, actually, to me. Or maybe it's a white. Okay, through the tunnel. Lovely weave entry. Distance handle. Dog picked it up itself. Got the threadle of the Skinner's fence. Call off the tunnel. Oh, no! We didn't call off the tunnel! Elimination. So, good effort here. Dog doesn't know it's been eliminated. Lovely little dog, really enjoying itself in the main ring today. And that's finished. So, next on the line, we have Maria, Melakari, and Wiki. 
So here goes Wiki. Wiki is very fast. High internet speed here. Through the tunnel. Lovely pickup of the weave. She's going for a push round, not risking that threadle. That was good. I avoided that tunnel trap as well. Sending her through the tunnel. Up over the spread. Oh, well done. Pulled off that other tunnel trap. Now heading towards the closing sequence. Lovely handling here. Two obstacles to go. And that was a clear round. Well done. That was a super handling there by Maria and Wiki. And that was in a time of 37.097. Next on the line, we have Kelly and Ace. Kelly Husla and Ace. Let's see if Ace can ace it. Up over number four. Through the tunnel. Oh, no. Just pulled out of the weave entry, so five are there, but there's all to play for. Five. Oh, but we now have an elimination because we fancied the tunnel rather than looking at mum. So Ace is having an ace time. Just going to finish off the course. Well done. So, next in the ring is Sam Sanchez and Taxi. Good luck, Sam. This looks like a spaniel type dog. Safely negotiated the weave in the Skinner's fence. So we've missed the first few traps. Right. On top of it there, over the long jump. Looking good so far. This is looking quick. In the tunnel. Last three fences to go. Over the finish fence. And that's a clear round. Well done. And that's a good time. 36. Uh, 967. 36. 967. Uh, next is Mary Schaff and Kiwi. So nicely done over four or five tunnel. Let's see if we can get the weave. No, missed the weave entry, five R. Going to keep going, though. It's all to play for. Oops. Didn't want to come into that Skinner's fence, so we've got an elimination here. But she's going to carry on having fun anyway. Oh, we're going to just take it for good luck. We'll take it again. We like the Skinner's fence now. And, of course, we love the tunnel. We're just going to have fun. Kiwi is just doing everything possible to take every obstacle as many times as he likes. Well done. So, next in the ring is Heather Witt Sullivan and Rowan. Little row in here, making a really good effort. Through the tunnel. Up to the weave. Safely in the weave. Safely completed the weave. Round the back of the Skinner's fence. Looking good so far in the tunnel. Big spread, little dog. Safely negotiated. Little bit of... Uh, Discussion about getting over the long jump, but we've done it safely negotiated. Still clear. Over the last fence, well done. And that's a clear round and a time of 42.757. So well done. 
So the next dog in the ring is uh, Oscar, and the handler is Meg Fitzgerald. Meg and Oscar. Oscar likes to tell everybody that he's here. He's on the live stream. He's in the main ring at Rutland County Showground, just next to Oakham. Right, safely round the first five obstacles. Through the tunnel, let's see if we can pick up the weave entry. Well done, Oscar. Likes to tell mum what to do all the way around the course, as we can see. Safely around that, avoided the tunnel trap. Through the tunnel now. Spread. Okay. Managed to avoid that tunnel trap again over the long jump. We're now entering the closing sequence. Oh, round the back. Three obstacles to go. Oscar telling mum to go faster. Well done, and that was a clear round in a time of 50.003. Well done, Oscar. So I think that's us completed the smalls. We are now going to put the jumps up to large. Um, I think that's us all done. There's nobody else booked in. That's us. We're all finished. So we're going to put the jumps up to large. Um, I'll just check with the judge a minute. So if the large handlers want to come into the ring and have another bit of a refresher, uh, you've got a few minutes um, while we're putting the course up. Um, to have another quick walk around it again. Uh, and then we'll be starting the large. Uh, I have down that there's 18 dogs, but there may not be uh, 18 dogs booked in. We'll wait and see. My glamorous assistant next to my left-hand side is going to tell me how many large handlers and large dogs are going to be competing in this. There's 18 entered. I'm not sure how everyone will check in, but please stick around. There's quite a few walking, so that's good. So we will be back um, shortly with the live stream. Uh, just for those, just to let you know, we're going to be starting at... For those sitting around the ring, we're just going to be starting just after half past. Okay. So, uh, again, uh, thank you very much to Skinners for sponsoring the International Agility Festival. Um, and uh, if you are uh, at the show, uh, not watching on the live stream, uh, the Skinner stand is to the left-hand side of the commentary box. Please check your goodie bags for gift vouchers and samples that you were given. Um, and again, uh, they have a very good range of all types of dog food. So one of their uh, successful ranges is uh, for sensitive dogs. So a uh, very extensive sensitive range. One of worth noting is the field and trial turkey and rice. And it's also supplemented with joint aid for dogs. This is a very popular uh, food to help maintain healthy joints and support the dog's mobility. It's 24% protein and 11% fat. So if you want to know more about this for uh, your dog's healthy joints and mobility, pop over and see the Skinner's team on the stand for more nutritional information um, to help your dog's performance and health. And we will be back shortly with the large jumping international event.
Okay, we're about to start the large uh, special international uh, jumping. And we have Victor with Jazz on the line. So if you're just joining us online, this is, uh, we've had one round of agility, and now we're on the jumping, and then we will have the final. So Victor and Jazz, clear so far. Into the tunnel. This weave entry is pre-improving quite tricky with the uh, small and medium dogs, but that was nicely done by Victor. And the push round was great at the Skinner's fence as well, into the tunnel coming up to the spread. So we've got another threadle here and another tunnel trap. Nicely over the long jump, coming towards the closing sequence. Got that push round through the tunnel. Three obstacles to go, three jumps to go. And what a super clear round to start us off in the large. And that's in a time of 41.488. Clear round in 41.488. Next in the ring is Rachel Stevens and DJ, running for Spain, but originally from the northwest of England. Nice to see Rachel back. Wait there. Okay. So just clip the pole there. On five faults. Oops. Right. Didn't come round to Rachel, got eliminated, but she's carrying on. This dog, another pull up there. Nicely over the spread. DJ is really enjoying himself. Towards the end. Nicely handled. Well done, Rachel and DJ. So that was an elimination. Um, next in the ring, we have Sergio and Kat. <whistles> Kat is just thinking about stalking the first fence. And we are up and ready to go. And we're off. Nicely up to number five, Tunnel Weave. Super entry, completed the weave. Nice, Got the threadle around the back. Clear so far, over the spread. Up to the long jump. Round the back, tunnel, only three obstacles to go. Well done, and that's another lovely clear round from Sergio and Kat in a time of 35-3-2-0. Well done, Sergio and Kat. Next into the ring is Susanna Klaus and Sue. And we're off. Safely over the first five fences. Tunnel weave. Nice pickup of the weave entry. Nice pull in. Safely over that Skinner's trappy fence. Into the tunnel, over the spread. Right, let's avoid the next tunnel trap. Lovely, over the long jump. Around the back of the next fence. Tunnel, three obstacles to go. Looking good so far. And another clear round. Well done with Susanna and Sue. That was a clear round in the term of 36.451. So next in the ring is Andrea and to Tobias. Nice big black dog here. Making it all look effortless, this jumping. Oops, had a bit of an argument about those weaves. I don't think she realizes that he went in wrong. Up, oh, she's taking him back and repeating it again. Nicely done, nice threadle. 
Managed to pull him off the tunnel trap. Come on, Tobias. Only five faults. Over the spread. Long jump round the back. On the home straight now. Two fences to go. Well done. And that was in a time of 47.911. Next in the rink is Tanya, and her dog is called Twilight. So, Tanya and Twilight, under starter's orders. Lovely collie here. Over to the tunnel and the weaves. And we've made the weave entry. And we've made the pull round the Skinner's fence. Nicely round the back of the fence. Tunnel up to the next section, of course. Spread. Another pull in over the long jump. Safely round the course so far. Bit of a switch of sides. Three fences to go. Lovely clear round from Tanya and Twilight. And that was in a time of... 37.712. Next in the ring is Janet Milner and Goya. Or Gia, I think it was pronounced the last time. So I do apologize if I've got it wrong again. And we're off. Number four. Nice wing wrap now in number five. Tunnel weaves. Yes. Managed to break enough to get that lovely weave entry, but we didn't get the threadle around the skinner's jump. Like the front side, don't want to do the back side. So we've got an elimination. And now, Gia's just going, oh, what's going wrong, Mum? Got ourselves back together just to give the course a good go towards the end. It's always good to come out the ring on a nice finish. Well done, just unlucky there. So that was an elimination with Janet and Gia. Next in the ring is Miriam and Kenji. So, just getting herself set up, and we're off. A nice black and white collie here, through the tunnel. Oh, and we just got 5R in the weave. We missed that weave entry, and another 5R, so we've picked up 10. Oops. Managed to do a handbrake turn and get the Skinner's fence, but then we decided we'd go towards the tunnel. So we have an elimination. Kenji just having fun in the sun. But we're gonna try our best on the, the back end of the course. Completed lovely. So that was an elimination for Miriam and Kenji. So next in the rink is Shelby and Moss. Shelby Tilden and Moss. Good luck, Shelby and Moss. So Moss, lovely tricolored collie. Missed the weave entry, so it's a five R. But he makes the thread along the Skinner's fence. Got to keep going here because this is uh, placing the final based over the first two rounds. Over the long jump. 
coming towards the closing sequence. Very nicely done and finish. Well done. So that was in a time of 37 seven two eight thirty seven seven two eight next in the ring is marguerite murling and sir hoy there we go Nicely over the first five fences. And then asking for that weave entry. Well done. Sir Hoy's made it. Oops, bit of a misunderstanding at the Skinner's fence. We've got a refusal. Oh, and we have a second refusal. Safely in the tunnel. Up over the spread, the second half. Oops, I didn't like the long jump either. So that's three refusals. That means an elimination. Um, well done for completing the course, Marguerite and Sir Hoy. So next in the ring is Tanya, Conrad and Van. I'm hoping Van is the man. And the time to beat is 35.320. Safely over the first five fences. Tunnel, weave. Wow. We've got that weave entry. Oh, just five are at the Skinner's fence. The handle moved off a little bit before he was ready. Lovely. Getting it back together now. Got to keep working this course. Five faults for touching the uh, long jump. And safely over the last fence. Well done, Van. And that was in a time of 38.152. So Sergio and Kat still in the lead, 35.320. Next on the line is Brenda Kelly and James. Hey, you get back in there. Oh. Come. Run pass number two. So we're on five refusal. And we're on another five refusal. We just couldn't pick up the weave. James is very keen. Uh, James is very, very keen to go his own course. So that was an elimination. He is having fun. What a beautiful dog. And that's the course completed. So Brenda and James in elimination, unfortunately. So next in the ring, we have Sergio Souza again and Koli Moli. So it's Koli Moli this time. Koli Moli versus Cat. Cat's in the lead. Whoops, five faults there on fence number two. Oops, and we just missed the weave entry. <laughs> Lovely handles over the Skinner's fence. Ah, Koli Moli has decided he wants to go into the tunnel before he takes that fence, so he's eliminated. Oops. And Coley Moley nearly took the judge out, but never mind. The judge is safe and well. I can see her from here. She's still on both feet. 
Oh, and we have a broken cup, so if uh, the handler in coming into the ring next just has relaxes for a minute. We didn't break the judge, but we broke the jump cup. Okay, so next handler in the ring is Danielle Scott, and she's running Moon. Danielle has a USA top on, so I'm hoping she's from the US of A. She's nodding her head at me. She is. Off we go. Okay. Moon. Over number five, through the tunnel. Come on, Moon. Oops, we didn't find that weave entry. Five refusal. Round the back of the Skinner's fence safely. Missed the tunnel trap. Come on, Moon. Into the tunnel. Spread. Next little bit of trappy section. Moon's listening over the long jump. Okay. Through the tunnel, last three fences to go. And well done, Moon. Just five faults, and that was in a time of 40.092. So, next dog in the ring is Tracy Duncan and Rush. Let's see. And we're off. Belgian Shepherds, lovely. Whoops, wrong end of the weave. Wrong side of the weave. So we've got five R refusal. Coming up to the spread. Very important that she keeps working this because it depends on her other results and the agility. Doing nicely, three fences to go. Well done, Tracy and Rush, in a time of 37.504. And the next handler in the ring is Desiree Snelliman and Peek. And we're off. Nice red and white border collie here. Tunnel. Oh, nicely corrected into that weave entry. That's what you call a handbrake turn. Oh. In the tunnel. Over the spread. Oh, we've got five R there. Peak is having fun. Well done, and that was done in a time of 35.307. Wow, that was some speed, that. Okay, so the next dog in the ring was, is T Roger Lie and Firefly. That's nice, Roger Lie and Firefly. So nicely over the first five jumps. Tunnel. Oh, we just couldn't slow down enough for the weave entry. Got a five R. Nicely through the tunnel. Spread. And another refusal, so that's three refusals, two at the weaves, uh, one at that jump, and it's now an elimination for Firefly. But the dog doesn't know, it's still having a good time. So good effort from Roger Lai and Firefly, but that was an elimination. So next dog, oh, we don't have any more in the ring. So we're now going to drop the fences down to uh, intermediate for the last round of the jumping before our final. So if the intermediate handlers want to come in and have another quick walk around the course while we uh, adjust the fences, 
Um, and uh, the winner of that round is Sergio Souza and Cat in a time of 35.320. Um, and if you want to see the full results, go to Agility Plaza. Um, and you'll be able to see the full results of that international jumping round on large. We will be back shortly.
Okay, so we're now about to start the uh, special international jumping intermediate height um, to complete the jumping round of the international event. And we're just waiting for our dogs to check in. Get our first dogs on the line. So intermediate handlers, if you're sitting around the back in the shade and keeping cool, we would like you to come forward and check in and get in on the line. Our judge is waiting. Okay, so we've got the first uh, contestant in coming into the ring. It's just Carla uh, van Adrichem and Tess vom Thornhauf. Thornhauf. Yeah, she did. So Carla and Tess. I'm going to call her Tess for short. Very long, posh name. Lovely, fast, smooth-coated collie. Oops, we didn't have the brakes on for the weave entry, so we've got 5R at the weave entry. Oops, and um, we didn't have the brakes on for the threadle either, so we've got an elimination at the Skinner's Fence. But Tess is just going to go around and have a bit of fun now. She's absolutely fixated with the tunnel. But Carla is uh, just trying to... Make the best of it. Oh, we really like that Skinner's fence now. So let's just reset ourselves and finish the course. Nice, over the long jump now. Posing sequence tunnel. Last two fences, well done Carla and Tess. So next is Mark Prats, Garcia and Mia. Okay, Mark and Mia. And we're off. Nicely over the first four fences and number five and the tunnel. Oh, but we decided to take an extra fence on the way to the tunnel, so we're eliminated. Mark just had his back towards me up and she just went, I'm off. I think Mia's doing the commentary for Mark. But she's having lots of fun. Really good efforts come all the way over from Spain. So first time across here competing at this competition, the International Festival. So a really good effort from Mark. So the next dog on the line is another Mark. Mark Matamoros, Gasparan and Noi. Or New. New. We're going to call her New. Mark and New. Yeta, Neu, Yeta, 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 Ah, Nice. And over the first five, we've got five R at fence five, and the same at the weaves. And a third refusal means it's an elimination. So Mark and you are just um, having a good go at the course, being nicely supported by his fellow competitors. Good effort, well done. And next in the ring should be David Infante, Yuva and Winter. So David, 
Good luck, you're under starter's orders. And we're off. First four fences nicely completed. Into the tunnel. Just overshot the weave entry. Five R at the weave. Made the skinners. Oh no, we missed the um, pull off from the tunnel. So we got caught by the tunnel trap there. That's an elimination. So nice to see the Cataluna um, team coming and supporting their fellow competitors and their competitors on their team. Spanish, sorry, Spanish. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. Clock still running. Could somebody stop the clock on the finish fence, please? So the next, hold on, clock is still running, so we're just sorting out the clock. Just want to do a little check to see what's going on with the clock. So we're just having a little bit of hold up on, if you're watching us online, we're just double checking the timing uh, to make sure that the clock is stopping properly. All right, we seem to have a timing issue. So we're just going to take a little break. Sorry if you're watching us online. Those at the side of the ring. Might be a heat issue, but it might not be. So we're just letting the um, team from First Contact are going to sort out the timing for us, and then we'll get the next competitor in the ring. So they're just standing down, just getting back into the shade while we sort this out.
of you online will join us shortly. And next in the ring, we have Eva Perez Prunel with fish. Cold fish, not a fish, it's a dog. It's a water dog, so that's why she's called fish. Spanish water dog, here we go. Safely over number three, up to four. Now, can we get this tunnel weave entry? Oh no, because we decided to take an extra fence on the way, so we have an elimination. Never mind, keep watching this beautiful dog called Fish. Lovely weave entry. Safely over the Skinner's fence. It's eliminated, but we're gonna make a good go of this course. Very nice. Handler's still working it as if she wasn't eliminated. Dog doesn't realize. She's doing really nicely here. What a great effort this is. Well done, that was lovely. Okay, so next in the ring is Daniel Scott and Iron Man. Oh, so Danielle from the United States, and this is Iron Man. Wonder if he's actually done any Iron Mans. Beautiful Merle type border collie here. Oh, just didn't get that weave entry. Got five R, but it's all to play for. Lovely over the Skinner's fence. Avoided the tunnel trap. Round the back. Oh, nearly went in the wrong end of the tunnel. Off we go. Oh, and we couldn't get that pull in there. So that's an elimination. But Danielle's going to carry on working Iron Man. Just let's get a nice finish. Let's leave the ring on a good feel. Well done. Okay, so next in the rink is Marguerite Murling and Happy. Let's see if Happy is looking happy on the line. I can see him. So. And we're off. Oh, Happy was so happy he decided to take another fence instead of number five. Lovely weave entry though. Happy is still enjoying himself. He's doing his own thing. Happy is definitely having fun in the ring. The obstacles to go. Happy doesn't know he's gone wrong. He's having a nice time in the sun. Well done, Happy. Right, next is Laura Murphy and Indy. So, just waiting for Laura and Indy to come in the ring. Indy's special, she likes to be carried. Nice black and white border collie here. For those that can't see it on the screen on live, you'll see it in a minute. This is Indy. And we're off. Okay. Oh. Having a bit of discussion about number five. But we've got that weave entry. And we've got the threadle of the Skinner's fence. Oh, we're looking at that tunnel, but we didn't take it. Well done, Indy. Over the spread. Nice threadle. And we pulled off that tunnel trap. Oh no, but we took an extra fence the wrong way round. So we got an elimination. Never mind. 
Indy's had fun. Okay, next into the ring is Carla van Adrichem and Kyla von Vom Thurnhoff again. Kayla, Kyla. I pronounce it Kyla. Some people pronounce it Kayla. Where I'm from, it's Kyla. And we got an elimination. Okay, I think that's us finished the intermediate. I'm not sure, sure. I'm just looking at the calling in person. Uh, just checking. Okay, we have two people not booked in yet, so we're just making a double check to be absolutely sure. Okay, so Two no-shows, class is now closed. So that's us finished the round of the agility and the jumping. And we will then be going to the finals. The finals will be running um, medium first, then small, then intermediate, and then large. So we will be having to um, set up the uh, agility equipment again. I'm assuming it's an agility round. Um, so we'll have quite a bit of a break while we reorganize the ring, reorganize the course, and work out the running orders for the final. Thank you very much.
If you are in the international final tonight, can you um, get yourself ready? We're very soon going to be walking the course. So if you'd like to gather around, uh, we'll shortly be walking the international final course. The running orders for the international final are on the back of the commentary box. So uh, if you look there, you will be able to see if you are in the running and what your running order is. So we're likely to be starting the final around six o'clock uh, and very shortly we'll be walking the course. Okay, if you are in the final, we're ready to walk the course, ready to walk the final course, so please, if you're in the international final, come and walk the course. We'll be starting at six o'clock, starting at six o'clock.
Okay, so we're very shortly going to be starting the international final. So ladies and gentlemen, do gather round. We're going to be running in medium, small, intermediate and large order. So if you're in the medium final, so the medium international final, can you please gather in the collecting area by the side of the ring so that we can get started?
Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to start. This is the international final. And the first dog in each height goes through to Crufts to compete at the Crufts Singles 2024. So first to go, Carlos Passinrino with Goma. So all our competitors have done an agility round, a jumping round. We've put the scores together. And uh, these are our finalists for the day. So, nice right turn there onto the seesaw. Finding those weave poles. Right to the end, and you go across to the spread. Right turn, left turn over the A-frame. And then through the long jump, round the backside there into the tunnel. The backside of the Skinner's jump, and then it's a long run down the dog walk. Round the back, we got one to go. Well done, our first clear round. I. Okay, so the time on the last dog was 40, 40874. Apologies for the delay. We're just struggling to see the timing clock accurately. Wanted to make sure we get it right. Okay, I believe we're ready to go with our next handler. Okay, so this is Marina Huber with Moon. And uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to thank our judge to get today, Petra Viplolova, doing a great job here in the main ring at the KCI oh, Festival 2023. So five faults for a refusal. And five faults. So round backside of number 12. Ooh, just, uh, 
picks up another refusal there and another five and that is an elimination. Well done, well done. And unfortunately picking up an elimination there. So next to go is Irina Hoffmanova with Helen of Troy of Darkness. So on to the seesaw. Nicely into the weave poles, making sure she gets all of those done correctly over the spread. So round the back there of the Skinner's Jump. Call around the back. Come on, you got two to go. Well done, well done. 63, 53.625 on the clock. Thank you. Okay, next to go, Joseph Bois with Loki. Oh, unfortunately, that's an early elimination there. So our winning time currently is 40.874 on a clear round. So that's the time to beat. Well done. Unfortunately, they're just getting eliminated early on in the course. So, next to go, Agnes Ksengo with Riza. Uh, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have the uh, country information. So, uh, so I think we're going to go with the Dutch team. Yay, well done. Yeah, we got it right. Unfortunately, we don't have the country information, so uh, we didn't want to get it wrong. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. All that way. Oh, no. Unfortunately, elimination. Oh, right at the end. Okay, next to go, Marina Hooper with Faye. So we're still looking to beat 40.874 on that clear round. Nicely over the A-frame there. Getting in a blind in right to going backside of that jump. Just missed the jump out and unfortunately took the, the uh, dog walk. So that is an elimination.
Okay. Jürgen Smith with Sonic. I think this could be the last dog to go in this fight. We'll be going on to the smalls afterwards. Oh, picking up five faults. So we're on five. So we're on five faults. Just don't want to get eliminated. Here we go, onto the dog walk. Nicely down there. Round the back, one to go. Yes, well done. Just five faults. We'll get the time for you. Four six zero three four. So forty six zero three four, and that concludes the uh, medium height. So the jumps are now going down onto the small. We'll go straight to presentation. And we will go straight to the presentation of what we've just seen, which is the medium height. And we've got third place. Or third, first. yeah, three, two, one. Okay, so let's go straight on to the uh, presentation for the medium height. In third place was Jürgen Smith and Sonic. Well done. Run last. Thank you. Well done. And in second place, Irina Hoffmanova. And Helen of Troy of Darkness, ah! well done. <laughs> and taking the first place, and my understanding, but it's not official, so don't believe anything I say, is uh, going to Crufts, is Carlos Passinrino and Goma. So well done, everybody. Okay, so the smalls, if you would like to walk the course. Okay, we'll be restarting at half past, so if you are in the smalls, you have seven minutes, seven minutes to walk the course.
Okay, we're moving straight on with the smalls. We've got uh, eight competitors for you. First to go, Meg Fitzgerald and Oscar. All well recovered there, onto the seesaw. Into the tunnel, finding those weave poles, come on. Let's uh, get our first clear round in the bag. On to the back side there of the jump into the tunnel. Round the back, the Skinners. Come on, onto the dog walk. Ooh, getting in a bit of a pickle, but we're okay. Nicely done. Three to go. One to go. Let's cheer them home. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. No way, right at the end, unfortunately, just picking up elimination on the last jump. Okay, next to go, Michelle Taffin Dubois with Dutch replay. And uh, Michelle running for Holland. So here we go, onto the seesaw. Through the tunnel. Oh, see into the weave poles, didn't waste a second there. Oh no, oh no, quick go back, go back. Five for a refusal on the spread. Around the back of the jump into the tunnel. Around the back of the skinner, so we're on five at the moment, onto the uh, dog walk. Picking the jump up, round the back, round the back, round the back. There we go, one to go. Well done. Five faults. 44, 5 0. 44, 5 0. I'm only going up to two. 44.50. Because I can only go up to two. 44.50. 44.50 on the clock. Okay, this is Kelly Hog Hoggerslag with Ace. Okay, that's an elimination there. Okay, so this is Maria Melakari with Wiki. <laughs> and here we go. On to the seesaw, right to the end. What a lovely seesaw. 
into the weave poles, finding those. That's okay, just lost a bit of time there, goodness me. Oh, the luck ran out, unfortunately. That's an elimination there, it was going so well. Oh, well done, well done. Okay, next to go, Heather Witt Sullivan with Rowan. Okay, I'm gonna hazard a guess that this is uh, running for USA, this dog. So, here we go, right to the end, nice. Into the weave poles, but doesn't quite make it, picks up five on a refusal, five faults. So we're on five, we go around the back, into the tunnel. Onto the dog walk. Around the back, just on five. It's a great run though, well done, well done. So 44.496 on the clock, thank you. Ready to go. This is Brona Walsh with Zeus. Picks up five on a refusal. Just running past number three. Nicely into the weave poles. Picks up another refusal there, five faults. <laughs> Nicely over the dog walk. Oh no, again right at the end. Just picking up an elimination there. Okay, next to go, Bianca Jansen with OJ. So five faults currently leading the class on 44.496. So clear round would be very good. Into the polls. Nicely done onto the A-frame. Oh, no! Oh, no! Could just see it happening, couldn't you, before our eyes there. Unfortunately, that is an elimination. Okay, next to go is Sam Sanchez with, with his taxi. So, still being one on five faults. Nicely into the weaves. On to the A-frame. Around the back of the Skinner's jump onto the dog walk. Nice, come on, we got two to go. Let's cheer them on, one more to go. 
Yeah, well done, well done. Four, two, three, one, six. So amazing. A clear round there right at the end of the class. Well done. I believe that concludes the smalls. So jumps go up to intermediate. So we go straight on to the presentation. In third place for the small height was Michelle Taffin Dubois and Dutch replay. Well done, Michelle. On to second place, Heather Witt Sullivan and Rowan. Well done. And then finally taking first place and a position at Crufts 2024, it's Sam Sanchez and Taxi. If you are running in the intermediate final, international final, please would you gather in the collecting area? Okay, so we're moving straight on to the intermediate. We've got six competitors for you. First to go, it's Mark Matamoros Gasparin with Noi or New. We're ready for our first competitor, Mark Matamoros Gasparin. Gasparin. Here we go. So this is the intermediate height. We've got, like I say, six competitors. Same course. So no faults incurred.
Backside of the Skinner's Jump. Running down that dog walk. Whoa, just got in. Well done. Two to go. Come on, let's see. Have a quick finish. Well done. 41875 on the clock. 41875. Well done. Next to go, Danielle Scott with Iron Man. Representing USA. So, right to the end of that seesaw, through the tunnel, left turn into the weaves. Nicely done. Over that spread, right turn, left turn. These are good turns. Round the back, number 12. Down that long line, round the back. Onto the dog walk. Gets that, make sure she gets it. Round the back, round the back. Oh my goodness. Two to go, one more. Yeah, well done, clear round. Three, eight, zero, eight, three. So a great time, but my reckoning goes into the lead. Okay, next to go, Marguerite Merling with Happy. So our winning time currently stands at 38.08. Into the weave pulse. Round the back, cross the line, round the back, into the tunnel. Round the back of the Skinner's Jump, very grateful for their sponsorship. Oh, just pinging off the dog walk, getting five as we come over the final jump in a time. Four, three, seven, two, six on the clock, well done. Okay, next to go, David Infante Hoover, Juve with Winter. Okay, on to the seesaw. Nicely into those weaves. Right to the end, he's getting ahead on the spread, pushing back. Number eight. Picks up five on the A-frame. So on five faults. Around the back. Right to the end, so we're on five. As we come over the final jump, well done. <laughs> Three, nine, nine, seven, zero on the clock. That was a good time. Okay, last to go, Ava Perez Prunel with fish. Into the tunnel, left turn. Nice, okay. Thirty-eight point zero eight to beat. Into the tunnel, round the back. Onto that dog walk. Picks up five on the dog wall. Oh my goodness. Oh. And a five for a refusal over the finishing line. Four, five, six, seven, five on the clock. So that concludes the intermediate. And uh, the jumps will now be going up to large for our final section.
Okay, moving straight on to the presentation. For the intermediates, in third place was Mark Prats Garcia and Mia. Yep, Mark. Well done. Taking second place was Mark Matamoros, Gasparin, and New. Mark, 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 Mark. 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 Oh, right. Wrong mark. Got two marks. One was, one was second and one was third. Mark Pratz was third. Now we got it sorted. Well done. And taking the top spot in first place, Danielle Scott and Iron Man. I believe representing USA. Well done. Okay, we're ready to go with the large. We have 10 competitors in the large. So the last section of the final, the international final. First to go, Tracy Duncan and Rush. Turn onto the seesaw. Into the wave poles. Oh, that was lucky. Knocked the wing, but the pole stayed up. So, uh, luck on our side so far. Down the line, round the back. Oh, picks up five. Five faults. Going a different way there, onto the dog walk. Picks up five. Right turn. So, ten faults. Well done. Four, three, seven, five, zero on the clock. Well done. Okay, next to go, Andrea Duarte with Tobias. the tunnel. Oh. 
Oh, just picking up five faults there for a refusal. Onto the A frame. Nicely over the dog walk, well done. Round two to go. Well done, one more. Yes, over the finishing line. Five, two, two, six, four on the clock. Well done, next to go. Tanya Viesma with Twilight. That wasn't in the plan, unfortunately. That is an elimination there. So just picking up that el early elimination there. But well done, well done. Okay, Danielle Scott with Moon is next. From the USA. Well, thank you for letting us know. So left into those weave poles. Gets the A-frame. Down that long line. So currently being led on 10 volts. Gets the contact. Come on, we've got two to go. Let's cheer them home. Over the final jump. Yeah, well done. Four, one, three, zero, six on the clock. That's our first clear in this class. Next to go, Victor Olea Flores with Jazz. That A frame gets that contact point. Around the back. Oh, just takes the pole. So we're on five. Come on, on to the A uh, dog walk. Gets the contact. Well done. Two to go. Well done. Four, four, three, eight, zero on the clock. Well done. Okay, Shelby Tilden with Moss. Okay, so here we go. Across to that seesaw. So we're looking to beat 41, 306 on a clear round. To that A frame. <laughs> Round the back of the Skinner's jump onto the dog walk. Gets that two to go. Round the back, one more. Well done. 
40716 on the clock. I believe that goes into first place. Well done. Next to go, Tanya Conrad with Van. So here we go, on to the seesaw. And so those weave poles, nicely done, all layering the dog walk, very nice. Oh my goodness, near, oh no. Unfortunately, a refusal followed by an elimination. That was such a shame. Just picked up the wrong jump there. Lovely distance handling that we're seeing here. Okay, next to go for the USA, it's Desiree Snellerman with Peak. So we're looking to beat on a clear round 40.716. that seesaw into the tunnel nicely into the weave poles right to the end right turn left turn onto the a-frame round the back here we go across the long jump round the back again nicely done into the tunnel round the back of the skinner's jump onto the dog walk Nice. Three to go, Desiree. Come on. Round the back, round the back, round the back, round the back. Oh, my goodness. One to go. Yeah. Well done. Clear round. Three, seven, one, three, zero. On the clock. Goes easily into the lead. Well done. Cracking run. Okay, our new leader. That's the time to beat. This is Suzanne Klaus with Sue. Gets the A-frame. Oh, around the back. Out, out. Around the back. Oh, looked at the weaves. But we're okay. Just wasted a little bit of time there. Around the back. One to go. Well done. It's another clear. 44782 on the clock. I believe that goes into fifth. I believe. Oh no, fourth. Goes into fourth place. Okay, Sergio Souza with Cat is the next one to go. Uh, we've got a total of 10 competitors. This is. Oh. Okay, so I believe this is the last competitor. Unfortunately, that's an elimination there. Just uh, taking the jump the wrong way. Excellent. Straight in presentation. So straight into the presentations in third place, Daniel, Danielle Scott of the Moon, USA, I believe. I think.
taking the scenic route to our uh, presentation. Well done. In second, Shelby Tilden and Moss. I think also from the USA. They've kind of uh, swept the board and the large. And taking a top spot and going to Crufts 2024, Desiree Snelliman and Peak. So all the other presentations from throughout the day will be happening for the individual runs in the international at the marquee, and they'll be going on now. So if you think you've won something or you've been placed, if you go to the marquee, they are doing the presentations there for the individual runs now. Oh.